Well, welcome to firstoffthebike.com's women's preview for Ironman Melbourne. That's the Urban Hotel Group, Ironman Melbourne. Better get that one in. Uh, Luke, yesterday we spoke about the men's race and, and what an important factor guys like Craig Alexander and and uh, and Marino Van Hoek are going to be on the weekend. But uh, it may be the case on Sunday for the women's race of can anyone beat Caroline Stephan? Yeah, the way she loves to race is it is catch me if you can. Um, she does it in Kona. She does it pretty much every race she starts in. She, the cannon goes off and off she goes, powers away. You see her grinding that massive gear on the bike to try and you know get the biggest gap as possible. She did it in Abu Dhabi a few weeks ago to, to Mel and gets off the bike and says, Girls, if I'm feeling good, I'm going to run away with it. If I'm not feeling so good, you're going to have to have your best run possible to reel in the lead that I've produced over the swim and bike. And I suppose that this year is going to be a little bit different to last year for Caroline in that she's going to have girls like uh, Amanda Stevens and Meredith Kessler in front of her out of the water. Yeah, definitely Amanda Stevens. Um, I think you look back at the from Kona last year, I think Amanda had around that 50 seconds to a minute on the rest of the girls exiting the water. So, she, you know, she's a college-renowned swimmer. I remember, I think it was three years ago over in South Africa, I remember standing up at the water's edge and lo and behold, the feet I've been sitting on for 3.8 kilometres was Amanda Stevens. So she is definitely a male front back pack swimmer. She's a sub-50 minute swimmer. Um, that's, that's in a wetsuit. Um, Meredith Kessel is the same. We, we saw her dominance in the swim over in New Zealand. I think it was, what was it, a 47 minute swim over in Taupo. Um, demolished the bike and and had a great run to, to finish it off and wrap up you know wrap it up for the win so there is some girls there that um, will be there or around Caroline for you know at least halfway to three quarters of the way through the race and then once they get off the bike it's you know it's anyone's race to see who can hold on or have a great marathon to win it but if you go off the race from last year um, you know Caroline was mixed up a little in the one of the one of the men's men's groups, and um, you know if it plays out that way, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds this year. It's it, obviously last year she didn't have as many. Well, she had a lot of quality chasing her, but not as many numbers. We've got a lot of girls now in this race, over twenty five, I believe, uh, racing on on Sunday if they all make it to the start line. And you know there's some good names here in Gina Crawford. We've mentioned Meredith Kessler. We've mentioned uh, uh, Amanda Stevens, but we've also got Britta Martin, uh, Carrie Lester. We've got uh, Anna Cleaver, uh, Corinne Abrams making Abraham's making the uh, trip out from England. The world. Yeah, and you know you talk about the best bike riders and, and all the names that you reeled off, but you know the ones that are going to be steaming from the back, um, from maybe a little bit down out of the water, is the, the Euro powerhouses, and we do love the Euro powerhouses on the bike. One, because they ride super, super fast. Two, because they always do it with a big grin on their face. And three, because they look pro, don't they? They look pro. Oh, yeah. And Natasha Bartman, I think she's, I'm, don't put me on the record here, but I'm thinking she's 45 or 46 years of age. Last year in Kona, she either had the first or second fastest bike time overall in the female field. That's professionals, amateurs, everything else, which is phenomenal. So she still has the form. Yvonne Van Birken, we've seen her go, you know, low, low eight hours in an Ironman over in the European Championships as well. Um, so these girls are going to be coming from behind her and coming after, after Caroline. Um, and it'll be interesting to see if Caroline does play it the same as last year. She used her bike strength to be able to put a day's end to both Rachel Joyce and, you know, Marinda Carfrey, who are who are quite handy athletes in their own right. So the race is, as you said, last year it was a small group of highly quality athletes. This year the quality is is a lot deeper this year. Yeah, it definitely is. And with yeah, as we said, with twenty five girls, we're expecting twenty five girls to make the start line on Sunday. It's um it's gonna bring people like Britta Martin and uh, the faster runners, I suppose, that aren't the strongest swimmers, Luke, but it's gonna bring them back into the race a lot earlier because there's a lot more girls obviously putting pressure on on Caroline from from, from the uh, from the start of the bike. Yeah, and I think you know, these are these are the go to names that, you know, you sit here and we talk about and everyone else will be talking about is the the Caroline Stephens, the Meredith Kesslers, um, you know, Natasha, Yvonne, but you do, you look at what Britta Martin did um, over at Ironman Western Australia at the end of last year, um, she is an exceptional runner, 
and she can hold it together in the late stages of the race when it matters. And you know, it's a it's definitely a name that no one has forgotten, but it's a name also that no one has really mentioned here for the Asia Pacific Championships in Melbourne, but as one that could you know, s slip through the crack in the door and come away with a victory here. All right, so let's talk about a few of the Aussies racing. Obviously, Britta Martin should be representing New Zealand on the weekend, but we've got Carrie Lester. We've got Rebecca Hoskin, who's, uh, so who was on the podium behind uh, behind Britta in Ironman Western Australia. Uh, you know, we've got Ellie Franks. Uh, Luke, any of, any of the Australian girls, do you think, can have an impact on Sunday? Yeah, I think so. You know, it's it's amazing what a home race, um, an Australian race, a home race in you know, and for some of these girls, it's in their own city. They know the course. They know what the conditions can hold. They know if something gets thrown at them unexpected. You know, this is Melbourne. It it happens to them every day out training, and you know, it's those. Everyone talks about the two percenters in football. It's those two percenters here, and if you add up what two percent is over, you know, nine to ten hours worth of continuous exercise, you know, that can be the difference between coming tenth and coming fifth. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so uh, Meredith Kessler, Gina Crawford, in any race you'd probably put them up there as your two favourites, but they're coming off Ironman New Zealand. Luke, what's that going to take out? For, uh, take out of them? You know, four weeks after Ironman New Zealand. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, but. The, obviously, the the other factor is this is something that's not new to to either of these girls. Um, you know, Meredith. If you look at her history, not only in Ironman triathlon, um, she's completed more Ironmans than you know I care to mention. But over the past few years, she's proven that she can back up and back up well. Um, you're talking, you know, completing two Ironmans within a month, within a couple of minutes of each other in terms of time. Um, you know, Gina as well. She shows through Europe that she's she's raced a lot of challenge races and a lot of Ironman races, but she's raced a lot of Iron Distance or Ironman events very closely quartered or, you know, in terms back to back and again proven that she can do it well. So I think it's not really as much as an unknown. Um, we know that they're going to perform exceptionally well. It's just, you know, how far off their peak form um, they will be and whether you know, if they're slightly off, how much that would be exaggerated on the weekend. All right, I didn't get your tip in the men's race because I didn't want to be we didn't want to be controversial, being that Luke's going to uh, he's competing on the weekend. But Luke, your tip for the women's mate. My tip for the women women's look. I've been, I've been helping Meredith out here while she's been in Melbourne. She's a fellow Purple Patch athlete. Um, Old Dicko Dixon had, I think, ripped my head off if I didn't back Meredith. You know, she's a great girl, happy girl, very determined. I've always said she's one of the meanest characters on the race course. Forget about the smile. I'm going to bring her home for the win, and if she does, she has to shout me dinner. <coughs> well, I'm going to go for Caroline Stephan, the obvious choice. Sorry, I'm being boring there, but uh, I saw her in Abu Dhabi, and she was, you know, behind Mel Holshield, who is one of the boys, arguably the best runner in the sport at the moment. Uh, you know, she was fantastic all day, and, you know, she took a great second place there. So, uh, it's going to be Caroline Stephan for me, but that wraps up our uh, Ironman Melbourne women's preview. Luke, thank you very much for, for joining us once again for, for our, our previews of the Asia Pacific Championships this year. And uh, we'll, next time we'll see you will be from the press conference at, uh, at Ironman Melbourne in St Kilda.